What affects the flame shape of the main burner kiln cement? Burner flame shape is very influential on the operation of the kiln, especially the formation of coatings in the combustion chamber, clinker quality, and also clinker production capacity. The shape of the burner flame is influenced by several things, including, first, the fuel used in the combustion process. The second is the quality of the coal fuel used in the combustion process. Third, the type of burner tip is the type of burner used in the combustion process. Fourth, air pressure and air volume from the primary fan. Fifth is, the temperature in the combustion chamber. If all of these points are explained one by one, it will require a long duration of discussion, so in this video we will only explain in general terms. Before we continue this explanation, if this video is useful for you, please subscribe first, and share this video link with your friends who need it. Thank you. The fuel used in the combustion process. Diesel oil fuel, natural gas and fuel coal, have different flame forms when starting the fire for the first time or for preheating the kiln. And the need for primary air must be adjusted to the type of fuel used. We have explained the need for air and the flash point for natural gas, diesel oil and coal fuels in the previous video. The quality of coal fuel greatly affects the shape of the flame, especially the fineness, moisture content and heat value of pulverized coal. For example, coal with a low calorific value, the shape of the flame will be longer, and vice versa. Because low-calorie coal has a high moisture content and high volatile matter, it should not be too finely ground. And this will result in a long flame shape and the potential for a second combustion to occur in the kiln. The type of burner tip also affects the shape of the flame, each with different characteristics and the way the primary air is adjusted to shape the burner flame is also different. If the axial and radial primary air settings are not properly adjusted, in accordance with the operating standards of each type of burner, it will result in the flame shape not being as desired. Air pressure and primary air volume, this also affects the shape of the burner flame. High pressure and low volume of primary air will form a short, strong flame, and vice versa. But the high air pressure and high air volume of the primary air will form a large and long flame. To adjust the shape of the flame can be done by changing the opening of the axial airflow damper and radial airflow, or by changing the burner tip gap. Next is the combustion chamber temperature. The temperature in this combustion chamber apart from the flame of the burner, also comes from the material that is already incandescent under the tip of the burner, and secondary air from the cooler. Especially in the use of coal fuel, the shape of the flame will be long if the temperature of the combustion chamber is still low, or below 1000 degrees Celsius and vice versa. But this also depends on the amount of fuel consumption and primary air settings. The higher the temperature in the combustion chamber and the secondary air temperature, the shorter the flame shape will approach to the burner tip. That's all we can explain about the things that affect the shape of the burner flame, for the ideal flame shape we will explain in the next video. Thank you for watching this video, hopefully it's useful, and don't forget to subscribe, like and comment, and share it with your friends who need it. See you in the next video.